Hi everyone and welcome to the Landlord page where today I'm joined by Akil from Our Mortgage Broker where we're going to talk to you about the first steps in order to buy your first buy to let property. So Akil, can you please break down process number one? Thanks Tristan for having me. So process number one is first and foremost is speak to a mortgage broker. Someone that's independent and whole of market and the reason for that is we want to be able to give you the best and most competitive rates for your first buy to let or subsequent buy to let purchases. So step one, speak to a mortgage broker, understand the time frames, the processes, what the mortgage rates look like, what the fees look like, and ultimately what you're gonna be paying going forward. And it has to be a profitable investment. So speak to a mortgage broker first and foremost. Perfect, step number two. Step two is contact your local agents. If you're looking for a property here in Berkshire, perhaps contact the guys at Avocado. Explain to the agent what type of property you're looking for and be very precise. Is it a three bedroom semi detached? Okay, if it's a three bed semi, who is your target audience in terms of tenancy? Is it a family? Is it students? Is it Airbnb type of tenancy you're looking for, applying for? Speak to the agent, explain to them the type of property you're looking for. Tell them your budgets and tell them ideally the yield that you're looking for. Now, bearing in mind where we are here in London in the Southeast, yields can fluctuate between one and 5%. So be clear, be definitive, and go back to step one, speak to a mortgage broker about the numbers. Step two, speak to the agent about the type of property. And finally, step three. Step three is come back to the mortgage broker. So once you've spoken to the local agent, you've done your viewings, you've done your due diligence, you've put your offer in. You'll then come back to the mortgage broker like us at our mortgage broker, and then we will then set out the plan in order to apply for a decision in principle, submit the full application in full, and then take you through the entire mortgage underwriting process to valuation, and then hopefully get you the keys for your next buy to let home purchase. Perfect. And then for anyone out there that's listening for the first time, what's the average time scale of application from processing from start to finish on average? So usually, as long as we have all the documentation we have on day one, we usually be able to obtain a decision in principle within an hour or two. We then submit the application in full. That usually gets underwritten within seven working days, depending on the lender's workload. Then from application to offer, is usually 10 working days. So get mortgage, decision in principle to mortgage offer is up to three, uh, three weeks. And then you have the legal activities after. So a purchase typically is between five and seven weeks. A remortgage is between two and four weeks. Perfect, thank you. So if you have any questions regarding this process, feel, feel free to reach out to myself or Akil. We'll be delighted to help. Now keep an eye out for our next video where we're gonna go into more detail of what documents you need in order to prepare for your buy to learn.